Hey guys, welcome back to Prepping in Progress. Um, gonna give you an update on what's going on behind me and got a few things to talk about. So it's prep talk, it's not Jeep talk, but we're gonna see what we can see. So stay with me. As you can see behind me, we have insulation up. It's actually quite warm in here. We have the wood stove set up, and uh, so we've got heat behind you from the door to the corner and then over to the south window, which I'm sure you'll see in another video, is drywalled. Everything else is not. Um, the upstairs is mostly done. We have a strip down the center of the ceiling where the rafters bend, but the side walls are done for the most part, and the east wall is mostly done except for a strip next to the win <coughs> window. I had to reseat the insulation around the heat dissipation box today, so sorry I'm a little choked up. We'll get a better view later of Miss Kay's beautiful rock work to reflect the heat and that's that took a couple of weeks to do plus the weather was not permitting um, but yeah you know we've got the electrical wiring pretty much done we have to wire it into the outlets and a couple of switches but the actual wiring is all the way around and to its locations. We ran into another setback. It seems like we take two steps forward, we end up taking one step back. Uh, last year I picked up this great looking, wonderful bathtub from a restore that was dealing in hotel uh, pullouts as the update. Tub had jets, it was awesome, and we noticed that the return lines for the water were cracked. So we decided to go with a shower, which will actually free up some space. So we're thrilled about that, actually. Um, yeah, we're closer than we think, even though it doesn't look like it. So, keep us in your prayers. I've learned an awful lot about construction throughout this, thanks to, mainly to Miss Kay. And I want to tell you or talk to you about some more serious stuff as well today. <laughs> like trying to put a roof over my head for the last four years has not been serious. Um, and it's it's been a struggle. It, it really has. Before Miss Kim and I divorced, separated, went our separate ways, we had a outside building and she had said that I could take it with me when we left and I had the arrangements made the guys were going to go down put it onto a trailer haul it back up to over by Boxley Arkansas I had land down payment it had water and electric hookups everything would have been fairly quick to have this cabin up and running. It would have been tiny, but tiny, tiny, but it would have worked. And then she changed her mind. Um, so, four years, 
redoing everything, starting from scratch. It's a bigger building. Um, it was a lot more to insulate. It's been a lot more to drywall and panel on the inside. It's still a concrete floor. The other one had wood panel for the flooring. But things are working out, you know. Um, I never would have considered getting married a, another time if I hadn't been in a position to have enough space for two people. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Preps are in progress. Things are moving along. Life is good. This has been an emotional roller coaster of a year. Some of you probably met this gentleman. Uh, Dennis Ross was a member of the prepping community, lived out near Fayetteville. He was a good friend. Um, this summer he had some medical complications. <coughs> and just as I was starting to get videos out every week, two to three videos out every week, he... Uh, let everyone know that he had pneumonia and um, was going to the hospital. It turned out not to be pneumonia and they couldn't treat the one issue because he had a chicken house fungus virus that he had picked up. And so they were trying to treat that and his health rapidly deteriorated over the case course of a week and unfortunately his poor body couldn't take it and Dennis passed away And I tried to put things together for a tribute video for him. I it shook me up. And just when I was ready to start doing videos again. He uh, he would come back and, and just the memories would start to flood and I just I couldn't do the video for him. And then of course you know you've got work and you've got trying to build this and by the end of the day you're dead tired for all you guys who work construction out there you have my sincerest appreciation um, and a couple of years ago I had, I had asked a friend of mine who did construction and mission trips and stuff to help and you know I I had no roof over my head I was there were some times that I was living out of the Jeep but he was too busy doing his business and I'm happy for him I'm happy that he is a success and he's able to hire people to work for him um, I'm proud of you. A 
last week, Thursday, Friday, I was taking some time and scrolling Facebook and the wife of my ham radio mentor made a post that her husband had died and the funeral would be Monday the 17th of December down in Mina. And I've not been a very good friend to the people back there. I, uh, you know, trying to build the house, trying to afford to build the house. Miss Kim had somehow placed her ADT security system in my name. So I was stuck with either trying to pay the buyout on her security system or funding her to have a security system. So there was an extra bill. Uh, the buyout was $1,500. You know, you try pulling that together while you're doing car payments. We all know the drill. We all know what it's like having, you know, bills to pay and construction supplies to buy. We've all been there. So you work, and you work the 60 hours a week that you're given, and you work doubles, and you don't keep up with your friends. I hadn't seen Bob in over a year. I had no idea that this year he had been ill most of the year. And apparently he was sick. He got up to go to the restroom and keeled over and was gone. The memory is a funny thing. In our memories, our friends are healthy and they don't age. You move away from a place, you blink and it's four years later, and instead of being 82, your friend is 86. You don't drive 40 miles to see people and they get married and they suddenly have more lives and they're busy and you love them to death. But we all have our separate lives. And you don't make the effort to reconnect. And then you wonder if you said something that hurt them. You wondered if you irritated people. And you have to decide whether to reach out and make contact. Um, you know, there's a person down in Clarksville that I've tried to make contact with several times and I think he's probably switched jobs and changed phones and I'm about to just drive down to his house and leave a note on his house an hour, hour and a half drive, I don't care. Because at this point, I'm looking around going, 
I know who my team is. I know who has an open invitation to show up. I know who might show up. But some of y'all I haven't talked to in a while. That's being a bad friend. But it's more than that. It's relationships. I mean, who who do you count on? You know, I have my I have a few that I'm I'm tight with that I talk to on almost a daily basis, and I have a few that well they're all right. They're gonna be okay. They don't they haven't called, they don't need me to help them, so we're good, right? Guys, if we don't hang together, we're gonna hang separately. If things keep going the way they're going, and they're looking pretty bad in some areas. We need our teams. We need our mags. We need the people we can trade with. We need human connection. So my challenge to you for this prep talk is to take a minute and write a letter, make a phone call. At the minimum, send a text saying, how are you? Check in with your people. I would go one step further to do your best to include them. And you know, some of us have older friends and relatives who we care about, we would take in, but you know, they're not active carrying the the tools and doing the things. You know, that's okay. They've got the knowledge. Write your mom a letter. Write your cousin a letter. Write your aunt a letter today. Take the time to actually put pen to paper. And just build your community before it's too late. All right, guys. Love you. And uh, that's enough serious and doom and gloom for the day. As always, keep prepping. You're, you matter to me. Drop a comment. Tell us how you're doing. I'll check you later.